Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about Part 1 Transportation Engineering Question and Answer 1. What are the functions of transition curve? Introduce super elevation gradually from zero at the tangent point to the value on the circular curve. Maintains a constant proportionality between super elevation and the rate of change of curve. Eliminates discomfort and overturning. Eliminates discomfort to passenger. To define simple curve. Simple curve is a curve consists of a single arc with a constant radius connecting two straights or tangents. 3. Define horizontal curve. Horizontal curve is one which is provided in the horizontal plane connecting two straight alignments. 4. Define vertical curve. In a highway a change in the rate of grade or direction may cause the vehicle a sudden impact. So far a smooth and safe running of vehicles the change in gradient or direction is smoothened by a curve called a vertical curve. 5. Define transition curve. It is also called as an easement curve is an arc introduced between a straight and a circular curve or between two arcs of a compound curve. The radius of a transition curve varies from infinity to a fixed value. 6. Define reverse curve. When two curves of different or equal radius are bending in opposite directions then it is called a reverse curve. Reverse curves have one common tangent. 7. Define compound curve. When a curve consists of more than one radius connecting two intersecting straights it is called as a compound curve. 8. Define valley or sag curve. A vertical curve, concave upwards, is called as a valley or sag curve. This occurs when a descending gradient meets another descending gradient. A descending gradient intersects an ascending gradient. An ascending gradient meets another ascending gradient. A descending gradient meets a horizontal. 9. Distinguish between summit and valley curves. For a smooth and safe running of vehicles the change in gradient or direction is smoothened by a curve called a vertical curve. The vertical curves adopted in highway may be classified as summit curve or valley curve. A curve with convexity upwards is called a summit curve. A curve with concave upwards is called a valley curve. Define gradient. Gradient is the rate of rise or fall along the length of the road with respect to the horizontal. It is expressed as a percentage rise or fall or a rate of rise or fall with respect to horizontal distance. A gradient of 1 in 20 or 5% represents that there is an ascending or descending of road profile by 1 meter for every 20 meters. 
it is denoted by the symbol N. What is meant by exceptional gradient? In some field conditions it will be unavoidable to provide a gradient steeper than limiting gradients. Such gradients are referred to as exceptional gradients. Such situations may rise in approaches to causeways, near hairpin bends, etc. They should be limited for short stretches not exceeding about 100 meters at a stretch. At hairpin bends, the gradient is restricted to 2.5%. What is meant by minimum gradient in highway? Why it is provided? A road with less gradient or level may not be in a position to drain easily. The surface water may be drained to the side drain due to the camber. But a longitudinal slope is needed to drain the water on the surface and from the side drain. Hence, it is essential to have a certain minimum gradient on roads from drainage point of view provided topography permits. The minimum gradient depends on the factors like rainfall, runoff, type of soil, topography, and other site conditions. Define ruling gradient. This is the desirable upper limit of gradient adopted in the normal course of design. This adoption of ruling gradient should balance the cutting and filling of earthwork which will give an economical design. Different factors which are to be considered in the choice of ruling gradient is type of terrain, the length of the grade, the speed, pulling capacity of vehicles and the presence of horizontal stretches of road. State the factors controlling the alignment of highway. The various factors, which control the highway alignment, may be listed as Economy Geometric Design Obligatory points Traffic in hill roads additional care has to be given for Stability Drainage Geometric standards Resisting length What is called super elevation to counterbalance the centrifugal force the outer edge of the road is raised which is known as the super elevation or cant or banking. This transverse slope is provided throughout the length of the horizontal curve. The super elevation E is expressed as the ratio of the height of the outer edge with respect to the horizontal width. Define site distance. Site distance is the actual length of road over which a driver sitting at a specified height in a vehicle can see objects either moving or stationary on the road surface. The computation of site distance depends on the following factors. Efficiency of brakes. Reaction time of the driver Speed of the vehicle Define stopping site distance Stopping site distance, SSD, or absolute minimum site distance is the site distance needed when the visibility should be such that a driver traveling at the design speed has sufficient length of the road ahead to stop vehicle after seeing the object without collision or accident. 
It is also called non-passing sight distance. Define intermediate sight distance. When it is not feasible to provide overtaking sight distance, intermediate sight distance is provided to give limited overtaking opportunities to fast vehicles. Intermediate sight distance is taken as twice the stopping sight distance. Define overtaking sight distance. The distance visible to the driver of a vehicle intending to overtake another slow-moving vehicle, without causing any inconvenience, or possibility of accident to the traffic in the opposite direction is called overtaking sight distance, or safe passing sight distance. What are the factors on which stopping sight distance depends on? Features of the road ahead Height of the driver's eye above the road surface Height of the object above the road surface What are the factors on which overtaking sight distance depends on? Velocities of the overtaking vehicle, overtaken vehicle, and of the vehicle coming in the opposite direction. Spacing between vehicles, which in turn depends on the speed. Skill and reaction time of the driver. Rate of acceleration of overtaking vehicle. Define setback distance. Setback distance M or the clearance distance is the distance required from the center line of a horizontal curve to an obstruction on the inner side of the curve to provide adequate sight distance at a horizontal curve. The setback distance depends on Sight distance OSD, ISD, and OSD Radius of the curve Length of the curve Define camber A convexity provided to the cross-section of the surface of carriageway is called camber is also called as cross-fall. It is the difference in level between the highest point, known as the crown usually located at the center of the carriage and the edge. Camber is provided so as to Drain the surface Separate the traffic in two opposite directions Improve the appearance of the road what is curbs? Curbs indicate the boundary between the pavement and shoulders. Sometimes curbs are also provided on islands or footpaths. Based on their functions, curbs may be divided into three groups as given below. Low or mountable curb Low speed barrier or urban parking curb High speed barrier What are the different types of camber? Composite camber Parabolic camber Sloped camber Define design speed a road has to be designed for a specific speed known as design speed. Thus design speed may be defined as the maximum uniform speed which will be followed approximately by majority of drivers. The choice of design speed depends on terrain condition and load classification. What is called perception time? 
Perception time is the time required for an average driver for his or her sensations received by the eyes or ears are to be transmitted to the brain through the nervous system and spinal cord. List the factors controlling geometric design. The following are the factors which control the geometric design. Cross-sectional elements Details of vehicles and design speed General alignment Gradients Horizontal alignment Sight distance Super elevation Terrain classification Vertical alignment What is remote sensing? Photogrammetry is often called as remote sensing. This is defined as the science and art of obtaining measurements needed for highway surveys by means of photography. It is intended to encompass procedures for photo interpretation and converting single photographs into composite over and into maps. What are the requirements of ideal alignment? The basic requirements of ideal alignment between two terminal stations are that it should be short, easy, safe, and economical. What is mean by geometric design? The geometric design of highway deals with the dimensions and layout of visible features of the highway such as alignment, sight distance, and intersections. The geometrics of highway should be designed to provide optimum efficiency in traffic operations. What is meant by highway alignment? The position or the layout of the center line of the highway on the ground is called alignment. Highway alignment includes both horizontal and vertical alignments of the roadway. The horizontal alignment includes the straight path, the deviations, and horizontal curves. The vertical alignment includes the changes in gradient and vertical curves. Mention the functions of medians in urban roads. To avoid the head-on collision between vehicles moving in opposite direction. To channelize the traffic into streams at intersections. To provide protection for pedestrians. To separate slow moving traffic. What are the requirements of ideal transition curve? It should meet the straight path tangentially. It should meet the circular curve tangentially. It should have the same radius as that of circular curve at junction of circular and transition curve. The rate of increase of curvature and super elevation should be the same. What are the markings made on the runways? Runway center line marking Runway edge strips Runway numbering Touchdown or landing zone Threshold marking Two or more parallel runways 36 Mention the main objectives of traffic engineering Thus the basic objective of traffic engineering is to achieve efficient, free, and rapid flow of traffic, with least number of traffic accidents. What are the objectives of highway planning? 
to plan overall road network for efficient and safe traffic operation, but at minimum cost. Here the costs of construction, maintenance, and resurfacing or strengthening of pavement layers and the vehicle operation cost are to be given due consideration. To arrive at the road system and the lengths of different categories of roads which could be provide maximum utility and could be constructed within the available resources during the plan period under consideration. To divide the overall plan into phases and to decide priorities. To fix update-wise priorities for development of each road link based on utility as the main criterion for phasing the road development program. To plan for future requirements and improvements of roads in view of anticipated developments. What are the factors affecting the skid resistance developed at the pavement interface? Type of pavement surface namely, cement concrete, bituminous, WBM, earth surface, etc. Macro texture of the pavement surface or its relative roughness. Condition of pavement namely, wet or dry, smoothened or rough, oil spilled, mud or dry sand on pavement. Type and condition of tire. Speed of vehicle. Extent of brake application or brake efficiency. Load and tire pressure. Temperature of tire and pavement. Mention any four tests for bituminous materials. Ductility test. Ductility is the property of bitumen which permits the material to undergo great deformation without breaking. Penetration test. Hardness or softness of bitumen is assessed by penetration of a standard needle. Softening point test. Softening point is the temperature at which the substance attains a particular degree of softening under specified condition of test. Viscosity test. Viscosity is a measure of resistance to flow. Mention the function of base course. Base course is that portion of the roadway which is provided under the wearing course or pavement. Base courses have to fulfill rigid specifications. They have to satisfy the following requirements. Thickness should be adequate to distribute the heavy wheel load pressure gradually to the subgrade through ashube base. Should have sufficient structural stability so as to resist the vertical pressures and shear stresses due to moving vehicles. It should have enough resistance to weathering. It should be compacted well to have sufficient density. What is meant by elongation index? Elongation index of an aggregate is the percentage by weight of the particles whose greater dimension is greater than 1 and 4 fifths, 1. ATIMES, their mean dimension. Presence of elongated particles in excess of 10 to 15 percent is generally considered undesirable. The elongation index test is not applicable to sizes smaller than 6.3 millimeters. What do you understand about flash and fire points of bitumen? 
The flash point of a material is the lowest temperature at which the vapor of a substance momentarily takes fire in the form of a flash under a specific condition. The fire point is the lowest temperature at which the material gets ignited and burns under specific conditions. Define flaky aggregate. Aggregate which pass through the appropriate elongated slot of thickness gauge are called flaky aggregate. Width of elongation slot would be 0.6 times the average of the size range. For example, if the size range is 16 to 20 mm whose average size is 18 mm, the width of the elongated slot is 10.8 mm, 0.6 times 18. Hence in aggregates of 16 to 20 mm size, the aggregate passing through 10.8 mm is called flaky aggregate. Define flakiness index. The flakiness index of aggregate is the percentage by weight of particles in it whose least dimension, thickness, is less than three-fifths, 0.6 times, of their mean dimension. Define angularity number. It is the amount to the nearest whole number by which the percentage voids exceeds 33%, when an aggregate is compacted in a specified manner in a standardized metal cylinder equals 67 100 slash write the importance of california bearing ratio test it is the best suitable method for evaluating the stability of soil subgrade and other flexible pavement materials the test results have been correlated for highways and airfields. What are the limitations of California bearing ratio, C.B.R, test? It cannot be used to evaluate the soil properties like cohesion or angle of internal friction or shearing resistance. Materials passing through 20 mm sieve can only be used for this test. If the test sample consists of coarse grained particles, then obtained results are not so suitable for proper designing of pavements. Mention the purpose of conducting softening point test for binder. Softening point is the temperature at which the substance attains a particular degree of softening under specific condition of test. Higher softening indicates lower temperature susceptibility and is preferred in areas where warm weather exists. Hard grade bitumen possesses higher softening point than soft grade bitumen. Bitumen used in paving jobs should have softening point varying between 35 degree to 70 degrees Celsius. What are the requirements of a good road aggregate? Resistance to impact or toughness. Resistance to abrasion or hardness. Resistance from getting polished or smooth slippery. Resistance to crushing or crushing strength. Good shape factors to avoid too flaky and elongated particles of coarse aggregates. Resistance to weathering or durability. 
good adhesion or affinity with bituminous materials in presence of water or less stripping of bitumen coating from the aggregates. What is called toughness and soundness of stone aggregate? Toughness or impact susceptibility is one of the necessary properties of an aggregate. Moving vehicles cause some impact on the road aggregate. The magnitude of impact would increase with the roughness of the road surface, the speed of the vehicle and other vehicular characteristics. Soundness refers to the ability of aggregate to resist excessive changes in the volume as a result of change in physical conditions. The physical conditions that affect the soundness are Alternate wetting and drying under normal conditions Alternate wetting and drying under salt water Freezing and thawing Variation in temperature Thank you for watching. For now, please subscribe. Like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.